Just your first impression. I'm in a forest. I'm in a forest. Very good. I'd like for you to describe this forest for me. What does it look like? I'm on a field. Mm-hmm. And there's pine trees around me. Mm-hmm. Are these tall pine trees or short ones? Mm -hmm. Short and tall ones. Mm-hmm. What else do you see? Flowers. Mm-hmm. It's a sunny day. It's a sunny day. Very good. And as you're looking at this forest, from what place are you observing it? Are you from the ground or above? Ground. Mm-hmm. So take a look at yourself and see if you have a physical body there. I do. Mm-hmm. Look at your feet and tell me what your feet look like there. What do your feet look like? <laughs> paws. They're paws. Mm hmm. What color are those paws? Brown. Mm hmm. Bear paws. They're big paws. Bear paws. Bear? Mm hmm. So let's take a look at the rest of your body. What do you look like? I'm big. Mm hmm. A big bear? Mm hmm. Yes. Mm hmm. And I want you to just to know are you male or female? Male. Male. Very good. So, what is it that you're doing in the forest today? Kind of just roaming around. Mm hmm. Running around? Mm hmm. Are you by, by yourself or are there others with you? I'm alone. Alone. So I want you to check in with your emotions and see how you're feeling. I feel content. Content. Good. Mm. Anything interesting around this forest today? Not really. It's just really peaceful. Mm -hmm. Very good. So now let's go to the place where you spend most of your time place maybe you call home where you sleep. I'm going to go ahead and have you close that scene. And when you open it again, you'll be at the place where you call home. What is this place? Hmm. There's um, rocks and a river. Mm -hmm. By the river? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's where I eat fish. Where you eat fish? You catch your own fish? Yes. Mm hmm So describe this place for me. It sounds very beautiful. It's very natural. Very natural. Untouched. Mm hmm No other souls around. I'm no other souls. Are you the only bear there? As far as I can tell, yeah. Mm hmm. Good. Do it's you like birds? A lot of birds. A lot of birds. Do you like the birds? I love them. Mm hmm. Do you communicate with these birds? Yeah. Mm hmm. What do they tell you? They're my friends. Mm -hmm. Just hang out. Mm hmm. Are there any birds in particular that you like? Mm hmm. There's little ones mm -hmm. and black birds. Mm -hmm. You enjoy their company? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Very good. So let's close the scene now and let's move in time backwards or forwards to an important day in your lifetime. Allow yourself to see it now. Where are you? I'm running. I'm running. Mm -hmm. What's happening? There's 
I'm being chased. I'm being chased. What do you imagine is chasing you? I don't know. It doesn't make sense. It's wolves. Wolves? Mm hmm. Yeah, it's wolves. A pack of wolves. Uh huh. I'm running from them. How are you feeling? kind of irritated mm -hmm. by why why are they why are they attacking me mm -hmm. what happens just running mm -hmm. Just describe everything that's happening. I don't know. I'm just waiting for them to lose me. Mm hmm. I'm stronger than them. Mm hmm. They should leave me alone. So let's find out what happens next. I want you to fast forward and see what happens. Do you feel? What's happened? I don't know. I, I, I'm remembering a, another dream I have had. What's happening there? It's just a bare head on the floor. Mm hmm. So I'd like for you now to make the connection. What happened? I got killed. Mm hmm. I'm not sure if it was the wolf, though. Let's find out. I'm going to count from three back to one. When I get to number one, I'll tap your forehead and activate that memory, and you'll understand what happened. Take a deep breath in now. Three. Going back through time and space to find the resolution. Two and one. Be there now. What's happened? I saw a flash of people, of a man mm -hmm. with a gun. Mm -hmm. That's how you were killed. Trophies. Mm-hmm. My head. Where were you killed? Just in the forest. I was peaceful. Mm-hmm. You were peaceful. <laughs> Where did this man shoot you? <laughs> my upper body, my torso. Mm-hmm. My belly. <laughs> What I was you? running from him. You were running from him. And as you look at this, what has happened, what are the last thoughts that you're thinking about? <laughs> I don't understand why they do it. I don't understand why they do it. So I'd like for you to disconnect from that body now. Disconnect from that body and you'll be able to connect with the mind of that man. Connect with his heart and his soul. What is he thinking? He doesn't see me as an animal. Mm -hmm. More like something to get. Mm -hmm. An object? Yes. Mm -hmm. He doesn't see me as he 
doesn't understand what it means to kill me, really. Mm-hmm. So now that you understand that he doesn't even know any better, can you forgive this man for his ignorance? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to put my hand over your heart, and I want you to give me all that pain you've been holding from not being known, from not being appreciated. All that pain of not being recognized. Pull it all out. You don't need to hold that any longer. it all to me. All that pain inside. And tell me when I have it all. To pull it all out and set in the universe. What would you like to put in that heart and set? Recognition. Let's put lots of recognition. Knowing that you are important that this soul is important, no matter what form it takes, no matter how large or how small, you are a being, a sentient being, who has feelings, who has thoughts, who enjoys your own company and peace, and feel that inside of you. Recognition, no matter what size, And I'm going to tap your forehead and seal that in recognition. What else do you need to feel better? Anything else? I would like them to connect with us. Mm -hmm. To know. To know. Would you like to do that now? Yes. All right. So I'd like for you now to connect as a spirit of the spirit that you are to connect with mankind and what message would you like to give to mankind from your kind from the bears and those animals that don't have human form don't kill us for trophies We are you. We are connected. We bring balance. You are hurting yourself. You are taking away lives. Don't you feel the pain after you do it? Stop. Stop. We don't talk, but we need to be protected. We deserve it. We deserve it. (laughs) We recognize you. You recognize us, please. Mm -hmm. So now it is spirit, as a spirit guide. What would you like to tell this entity that we call Gudran? What would you like to tell her? You know it. You see us. You've always have. You always have seen us. You tell people. You always did, especially the ones that are ignorant to it. Even though they laugh at you sometimes <laughs> because you're so connected to animals, <laughs> you love them. You love us. You love all beings. Tell them. Tell all of them. You know, they will believe you.
Is that why she is here on this planet at this time? Does she have something to do with the animals? Partially, yes. Mm hmm. Tell her about that. She's really connected to this earth. Mm hmm. To plants, to trees. To the plants and the trees. Mm hmm. To animals in general. Yes. Has she been on this? Earth many times before. Yeah. Yes. In many forms. In many forms. Stones, plants, trees. Mm hmm. The ocean and the forests. Everywhere. She's, she's been everything. Mm hmm. So, why did you choose now to be a human? What is her role now in this lifetime? It's time to wake up. It's time to wake up. Is she waking up herself or others? She's already awake. She is. She's waking up others. Mm hmm. She wonders how it is that people come to her and open up to her so easily, even with such a young age. They feel her wisdom. Mm hmm. They know they can trust her. She has a good heart. Mm -hmm. Where is this wisdom coming from, from the soul? Where is she getting this connection and information? Many lifetimes. Many lifetimes. Mm -hmm. Because she was everything, yeah, so many forms. Because she had many forms. She knows mm -hmm. things others don't. Mm -hmm. Does she have a special connection with this information that others cannot access? She sees it. Mm. How does she see all of this? Hmm. She sees things different, mm -hmm. differently. Yes. She feels it. She does. Sometimes she wonders why why does that other people don't see it? Mm-hmm. Because it's so obvious. Yes. Everything is connected. You heard one thing, you heard everything. The respect for life. People need to have this respect. Life. Every life. It doesn't matter what. Even insects. Mm hmm. Ants. Can she feel the connection with the ants? Yes. Mm -hmm. She's always had a. <laughs> she spent hours and hours as a child in the garden. They had a really big garden. Mm -hmm. Just observing. And that's where she already understood. Everything's connected. Everything is precious and should be wondered about. Mm -hmm. So. This lifetime that she came in with this very solid connection to everything, mm. is she here to perhaps allow others to see this connection too? Mm. Yes. Mm -hmm. How is she doing it? <laughs> She's sharing her love for nature through pictures and stories mm -hmm. and paintings even. So she is kind of giving everybody that information through her art? Yes. Mm -hmm. Can you tell her more about that? Her words move people. Mm -hmm. Even the ones that read it or see it, and <laughs> they are touched. So those words that she sings, and she says, and she 
writes about the poetry. Yes, it moves hearts. It opens hearts. Good. Is anybody guiding her with her words? Oh, yeah. Gaia is doing it? Yes. Mm-hmm. So is this coming directly from the earth? Mm-hmm. Okay, good. So how can she make it even more, more connection? She wants to connect even better. Go outside. Go outside. Mm-hmm. Lie on the grass, connect with the earth. Mm-hmm. But what happens, for example, now that it's winter time and it's so cold outside? <laughs> what can she do instead? She, Kai has been telling her, bring more plants into your home. Ah. Earth. Just bring earth into your home. So you don't have to go outside. You need to bring it in. Yes. Oh. So when you have flowers or plants and things like that, that's making a connection? Yes. Oh, okay. Very good. Very good. By taking care of them, mm-hmm. you're taking care of the earth. Okay, you're making a connection. Mm-hmm. Very good. What other abilities did she come with in this lifetime? She can heal. Mm-hmm. How does she heal people? With her hands mm-hmm. and her voice. She thought that something was interesting about her voice because people are attracted to her. They want to see her in person. Mm. So what happens when she speaks with someone? Or sings to them? The vibration of her voice. It's the vibration of her voice? It calms. Mm-hmm. It opens people. It calms them. It takes off their worries for a second. Mm-hmm. It's a much needed peace that we need in these times where everything is turbulent and Mm -hmm. stressful. (laughs) So just by her speaking, she'll be able to help people? Yeah. So how can she use her voice, for example, in her career? What can she do to help people in a place of work? Continue making videos. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Disregard the ridicule. Just be yourself. Be yourself. Mm-hmm. Talk. Whatever you feel is right. Talk mm-hmm. it out. Express yourself. Mm-hmm. Spoken poetry. Speaking poetry. But she's noticed that when she expresses herself as she truly is, she's starting to lose people around her. It doesn't matter. She's, 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 people will come. she's getting very lonely. And she's not the only one. What happens when you start speaking your truth? Why do people just drop off and okay. disappear? Because in a way... In a way, they're not ready to hear these things. Mm-hmm. And they know it mm-hmm. deep down. Yes. But it's a form of avoidance. When they're ready, they will come and be attracted to. Mm-hmm. Will it be the same people or other people? It might be the same people coming back, mm-hmm. but mostly new. Mostly new. Mm-hmm. But right now, she's at a t- time where she's extremely lonely, mm-hmm. where she has separated for, from the one that she's loved. Mm-hmm. It's almost like she's had something ripped from her. Yeah. Will she be connecting with others on that same level? Mm. On the same level. Mm-hmm. Different. 
differently. Can you give her a clue of what that means? Hmm. They will see her even clearer. Mm -hmm. They will appreciate even the what other people might see mm -hmm. to uh, think it's weird. Mm -hmm. They will love that. <laughs> so she needs to embrace her weirdness. So that <laughs> others will too? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is this how she's going to find her spiritual tribe? Yes. Because she's very lonely right now. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they will find her through her weirdness. Ah, through her videos and things like that? Yes. Okay, so she just has to be real. Yeah. Okay, and the, her tribe will come to her. Mm. Okay. Now she's thought of doing like a stage name for mm. her videos changing her name, like for an artist name. Should she be giving another name to herself, or should she use her own name? Use her name in poetries. Use her name in poetries? When it comes to other mm -hmm. music, or... wait, it'll come. It'll come. Why was she given this name? that she has. It's so unique. Hmm. She was right before it. It's a reminder. Mm -hmm. She knows. What is the reason? Because she's so connected. She knows what might seem to other people as secrets mm -hmm. of existence. She just knows it. God she has that God connection, that mm -hmm. Source connection. Mm -hmm. You might call it God or whatever. Source. So her name actually describes who she is. Yes. Her connection. So she was given the perfect name. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Her mother knew. Her mother knew. Mm -hmm. Was her mother channeling that? Mm -hmm. She had the possibility to give it to the other twin. Mm -hmm. She didn't. Because she knew, she saw her and she knew that was Gudrun, mm -hmm. not the other one. Are there any others in her life now that have been with her before? A couple. Mm -hmm. What does she need to know about these relationships? Mm, they're here for your support also. Mm -hmm. Even when it doesn't seem like it, maybe. They're here supporting your growth and your recognition, your own recognition of who you are. Is this part of her tribe? They used to be. Mm hmm And they're coming. They'll be back. Yes. Mm hmm So these are kind of like almost guides for her too, or not? In a way, they're more triggers. Mm -hmm. Triggers, yes, that's the right word. Triggers for her. Are they triggering her to remember something? Yeah. Okay. Can you tell her about what's been the most important trigger recently that has set her on a different path? You are good on your own. You don't need anybody else to give you validation. Not even what you think is the love of your life. You are enough. Mm -hmm. You can do it. All by yourself. You're powerful. Can she believe that? She doesn't always. Mm -hmm. She has glimpses of it when people tell her that they've been influenced by her words or even her presence, just that. Mm -hmm. When they tell her they cry after they read things that she posted or that she read 
out loud. She feels that she's powerful, but she's also scared to show it. Mm -hmm. Because oh, a lot of people don't like powerful people. Mm -hmm. Is she playing small? Yeah. What will that get her? It doesn't help. Mm -hmm. She needs to disregard it. Own your power, own your knowledge, own your wisdom. What I would like for you to do is I'd like for you to show her now her true essence her true size and see how powerful she truly is she's everywhere mm -hmm. what is she being shown? I get different, she's in different, her essence is in different galaxies. Mm -hmm. Mm. Is that why she has those vivid dreams? Mm. Yes. So let's find out a little bit about that. If she's living in different places, why, for example, did she have that dream with the comet that turned into that light bulb? That light bulb, and then she fell to her knees mm. like it was gifted to her. That was her soul. That was her soul. Can you explain that to her? It's a metaphor. It's a metaphor. That's your power. Mm -hmm. The comet is her power. The light. The light. Mm -hmm. The person that fell to their knees is your ego. Don't listen to those voices. You've been given those gifts. Shine, you are that light that you fell to the knees to. Can she accept that now? Or will it take her time to accept her power? It will take time. Mm -hmm. But she's getting there. She is. Mm. Slowly but surely, she's, she's enjoying it mm -hmm. more. And if this was a metaphor, what about the dream? Mm. About the shining lights in the sky? Who were these shining lights? And what was her connection with them? Show her that dream now. Hmm. What do you see? Hmm. It's weird. Mm -hmm. Because... Hmm. Tell me what you're seeing. The more you say, the more you'll understand. Um... Well... We have a house in Spain. Mm -hmm. She she likes that place in that village where her parents have a house in Spain. It's a river, river bank also. And that's where she was in that dream. But it wasn't the same place. It was brighter. Mm -hmm. So what was this dream? Where was she? Future. Future. The future. 
Mm -hmm. So see the future now. What is she being shown? Lights. What are those lights? They're a message. Mm -hmm. I'm just getting you here. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you now to connect with those lights. I'm going to go ahead and count from one to three. And when I get to number three, I'm going to tap that third eye, the forehead. And you'll be able to connect with those lights to see who they truly are and your connection with them. Take a deep breath in now. One. Connecting now with those lights. See them. Allow them to get closer. Two. Begin the communication. And three. Connect now. What are these lights? They're spaceships. Spaceships. Mm-hmm. How many do you see? Ooh, many. Mm-hmm. Where are they? They're on Earth. Mm-hmm. In they're watching. Mm-hmm. And they're here to help. They're here to help. Mm. So what connection do you have with these spaceships? Telepathic connection. Mm -hmm. Do you have anything in common with them? The goal is common. Mm -hmm. Raise the consciousness of humanity. To raise the consciousness of humanity. So you both are doing the same thing, aren't you? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So why are they there today, showing themselves to you? We're friends. We're friends. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, we're friends. Mm -hmm. So let's find out how it is that you know these friends. We're going to now go even further and see how it is that you connect with them, physically or consciously. Take a deep breath in now and begin traveling through time and space, stretching yourself out more and more, connecting with your friends, drifting and floating, getting closer and closer. Allow yourself now to see that connection. Where do you know them from? Updates. You give them updates. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Hmm. How do you give them updates? They connect with me in dreams. Mm -hmm. <sighs> because I see everything, they can rely on my opinions. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And what are these opinions that you're giving them? Hmm. These updates? The state of people. Mm -hmm. The state of people and how they... How they're doing. Mm -hmm. Very good. So now that we understand what you're doing with them, let's go even further and find out when you agreed to do this, what form you had when you agreed to give them the update. Allow yourself now to see when this agreement was made. And tell me where you are. It's weird. Where are you? Hmm, I'm in space. Mm -hmm. What I'm getting is... <laughs> uh, it doesn't make sense, I'm going to say it either way. 
It's a star. I'm a star. Mm-hmm. Or something like a star. Yes. Mm. And how are you communicating with your friends? It's some sort of telepathic communication. Mm-hmm. They know what I know. I know what they know. There are no secrets, are there? No. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I can send parts of myself. You could send parts of yourself. Mm, to help. So what part have you sent to Earth? Hmm. part of myself. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what I'm getting is <laughs> star because oh, that's why mm-hmm. she always feels so old. And that's why she feels so old. Yes. Her body is young, but she's old. Yes, she's so old. Mm-hmm. She's been there. She's still there. Mm-hmm. So she's a very old soul. Far away. Mm-hmm. Mm. So would you explain to her why she sent this part of her to Earth at this time? What was the purpose of that? What was her mission? She just wants to share. She just wants to share her wisdom? Mm. Mm-hmm. She just wants to help. Why not? Mm-hmm. She doesn't lose anything by it. She's everywhere. Mm. Her light is everywhere. Mm-hmm. Did she choose to come here at this time? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. And she sees a lot of numbers. These numbers. Are they some sort of communication also? Yes. Can you tell her what they mean? Just to let her know she's not crazy. Mm hmm. <laughs> she thought she was crazy seeing all these numbers, mm-hmm. but it's a form of letting her know that it's okay. You're on the right path. Who sends her these numbers? Does she send it to herself, or does someone else send them? It's herself. It's herself. Yeah. So it's like her higher self reminding her? It's also her guides. And her guides. Who are her guides? Dragon. A dragon? Mm Mm-hmm. Go ahead and see that dragon now, and describe this dragon for me. It's big. It's big. What color is this dragon? Red. A red dragon. Yeah. Mm Mm-hmm. Does this dragon have a name? Aurora. Aurora? Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. So what does Aurora do in the lifetime of Gudrun? She's part of the wisdom and Oh, also her strength, mm-hmm. fierceness of not backing down. So that's what Aurora gives her? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Does she have any other guides? Hmm. To all that animal connection is strong. Mm-hmm. Dolphins. Dolphins. She had a dream in which she was working with dolphins. What is her connection with those dolphins? She used to heal them. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Play with them. In another life. She does. Does she do that in her dreams also? Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. So is there any particular uh, dolphin that she's connected to? Or is it all of them? It's all of them. Okay. It's whales, too. It's whales. So she has a connection with them. Yes. Do they have any message 
at this time that they would like to speak through her. You wrote a poem once about us. Show it to the public. What is it? You wrote a poem once mm -hmm. about us. Show it to the public. So she needs to share that poem that she wrote. Yes. Does that poem have any power to it? It does. It does. It does shows it? our importance. Okay. So she needs to start sharing these works. Yes. They're oh. killing us. Mm-hmm. They're killing us. So she, she needs to put that information out. Yes. Mm-hmm. Good. Now, she also had a dream in which she was <gasps> singing. What was going on with that? It was an actual song by Enya. Who were these children she was working with? They weren't her children. They weren't. Who she, are these? She's a caretaker for children. She's a caretaker for children? Yes. Mm hmm What do you need to tell her about that? Children. She knows this also. Mm hmm Children love her. They love being around her, playing with her, because she is like a child in a way. Mm -hmm. She can guide them in the right direction. Mm -hmm. A lot of children are being misguided. Mm -hmm. Does she do this in her sleep also? Mm -hmm. Who are the children that she sees in her dreams? Are they from here? Future incarnations. These are future connections? Future incarnations. Future incarnations. Okay, so is she giving herself information? Yes. Okay. And what is the connection with Venus and the evening star? What does that mean? It's just a reminder to look up at the stars. Ah, because that's her? Yes. Mm-hmm. Good. So that poem or that song actually had the information about herself? Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good. And she wants to know her connection with those that are very important in our religions. What's her connection with Jesus? Hmm. He guides her. He guides her. Mm -hmm. And what about Shiva? He's also a guide. Mm -hmm. She brought meditation into her life. All right, so Shiva, Shiva's the one responsible for the meditating. Yes. Mm -hmm. What about Sadhguru? It's the same. Same thing. And Muji? Same. Same. So it seems that meditation was a very important thing for her to learn. It's what alters her power. Mm -hmm. How is she doing? as far as her meditating? She can do even more. Okay. Would you like to suggest how long she should meditate? Or when? Do your practice twice a day. Twice a day. Any particular time? Sunrise, sundown. All right. Good. Now, talking about her body, what is it that she needs to do with her body to let go of, for example. Does she have anything that she's holding on to that's keeping her in fear? Let's do a scan of her body and see if there's any of that stuck in her body. Fear, procrastination, self-doubt. Her body should be flowing completely Let's see if there's any blockages there. There's no blockages. There's no blockages. Hmm. So, is she holding anything? Or is she flowing pretty good? The more you meditate and do your practices, 
you have resolved a lot of blockages yourself mm -hmm. by doing these. Is that what meditation allows you to do? Yes. Okay, good. What about her body, her health? Looking good. He's looking good. But she says that she still has some things that are bothering her. A skin condition, mm. breaking out. What's causing that? It's going to get better. It is? Yes. What's causing it? Is that energy or... Emotions? What's going on in her face? Let's identify what's causing that. She never showed her in a beauty. Mm -hmm. Just keeping it in. It's trying to come out. So all of that inner beauty is trying to erupt out of her skin? Yes. Mm -hmm. So when she starts to appreciate her inner beauty more, it won't need to erupt? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'd like for you to go ahead and begin seeing that inner beauty come out, not through the skin, but through the heart. And let's bring it out as energy. What color would you like to bring that inner beauty out? Gold. So let's bring that golden light out, and I'd like for you to see yourself as you truly are, a beautiful golden star. See the beauty of it. And shine your own light upon yourself. Mm. I'm getting hot. <laughs> mm -hmm. Do we need to have any of that blocking yourself anymore? No. No, very good. Courage. Very good. So let's take a look now at the headaches. Why is she getting headaches? What is that coming from? What's the origin of the headaches? Mm, too many worries. Too many worries. Mm -hmm. Are these her own worries or other people's worries? Mm, both. Both. Why is she holding on to other people's worries? She doesn't want to disappoint anybody. Mm -hmm. Is it her responsibility to take care of other people's worries? No. No. So where is she putting all those worries? In her hands and in her head. Mm -hmm. What's it doing to it? What are all these worries making? Stopping her. Mm -hmm. From continuing to evolve mm -hmm. more. Mm -hmm. Are we ready to release those worries now? That are nothing except toxic residue? inside of you that have nothing to do with your reality and your moment of now? Yes. Okay. What would you like to use to transform these worries into something else? Hmm. I'd like to use blue light. All right. So let's find out what you're going to transform all these worries into. Motivation. All right. Go ahead and begin now to beam that blue light into all of those worries and see how they begin to transform into motivation to go out there and be your true self and help other people by shining your light. And when you shine your light, there's no place left for those worries to hide. Those worries are like little shadows and when you shine your light brightly, worries don't exist. Worries only belong into the future, into fantasies of the future. And when you shine your light, you're in the present. Tell me when all that blue light has transformed into motivation. Hmm. 
No. Very good. So now let's take a look at her spine. She had an injury a while ago. And every once in a while, that spine is reminding her of it. What's the spine telling her? Don't do things you don't want to do. Mm. She used to work in a gym back then. Mm -hmm. Not the right place. Not the right place. So why does she keep that spinal injury? She's doing it again. Mm -hmm. She's still working in a place that she doesn't want to be there. Mm -hmm. She doesn't want to be there. So her spine will always remind her? Yes. Mm -hmm. Look for something else. More fun. With people, maybe. Contact with people is important. Mm -hmm. So she can talk to them. Be around them. Help more. Very good. Can I ask for a guide on her behalf to help her find this place that she loves so much so that she can shine her light mm -hmm. and use the skills and talents that she's born with to give her a fun job? Yes. Good. Thank you. What about the coldness that she's feeling? What's going on? with her body, that it feels so cold. She needs to give herself more love. Mm-hmm. Warmth. And as she noticed when that star was shining down on her, mm. she was feeling the warmth. Yes. So let's kick it up a few notches. And mm. let's begin that love to flow through her. So she can feel that love shining on her and through her. And let's open up that heart even more with that love. What color, light, does she need to feel that love? It's white light. All right. So let's bring that white light in. I'd like for you to go up. Go ahead and open up your crown chakra and bring that white light in and just allow it to flow. Allow that light to flow through the entire body. With every beat of the heart, allow that love to just spread more and more, picking up more activity, picking up more joy, picking up more acceptance and compassion for herself. Understanding that she came here to experience things. And it starts by loving oneself first. How does that feel mm. as that love circulates through that body? Peace. Very good. And now that that warmth is going through the body, let's focus in on the thyroid and see what is going on with the thyroid. Let's go deep inside and let's find out what the thyroid is telling her. Speak up. Speak up. Mm -hmm. Why is she not speaking her truth? Hmm. She's scared of what others I think. Mm -hmm. She always thinks people think she's weird. Mm -hmm. And she doesn't. Well, isn't that the whole idea? Is for her to express her weirdness now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. She just needs to get it. She just needs to get it. Speak up. Doesn't matter. So once she starts expressing who she truly is, what's that going to do for her body? She's going to shine even brighter. She's going to shine even brighter. All right, so let's make an, a deal now with the thyroid. 
And let's begin putting some love in there and appreciation. Understanding that the thyroid is there to remind us that we must, must speak our truth. Our authentic self must shine through if we are here to do the job that we came here to do. And let me know what the thyroid says back. The thyroid says she's happy. Very good. Very good. Because we want our happy thyroid, don't we? Yes. Mm -hmm. It will help with the cold, too. Very good. So she had told me that she had pressure on her forehead. Did we already take care of that, or is that her third eye? It's her third eye. All right, so tell her what's going on with her third eye right now. <laughs> Again, she knew it already. Mm -hmm. It's a signal that she's on the right path. Okay, so when she feels a little bit of pressure on the forehead, she should listen then. All right. So it's kind of opening up the communication? Yes. Okay, good. Did, was it initiated when she met Sadhguru? Yes. Okay, good. And will it be changing at all? Will it be increasing more as she meditates more? It has been increasing. It has. Is that because of the meditation? Yes. Okay, good. Now she has questions about things that she does to open herself up even more. Is it beneficial for her to keep smoking? Perhaps even other psychedelic journeys? It can be. Mm -hmm. Use it the right way. Use it the right way. Can you give her some advice on how she can use it in the right way? to help enhance her abilities. When it comes to weed mm -hmm. or marijuana, every time, give thanks, set a clear intention, and by clear, say it out loud. Mm -hmm. Set your intention out loud? Yes. Mm -hmm. She will take the advice you gave her. All right, good. So will that help protect her? Yes. Okay, good. It will make the messages purer. Okay. So instead of just being recreational, it'll be more directed and intentional? Yes. Okay, good. Good. Now she came here with a lot of curiosity about herself. And now that she has connected with the high self, with that star, I'd like to ask, why is it that you brought her here today? What did you want to tell her today? It's to remind her, and to remind others too. <laughs> she said it to you. Mm -hmm. Your messages reach many. Mm -hmm. This information is valuable for many. Many feel the same way. Many need to speak up more. Own their power. Own their truth. It is a lonely road, but people will come. People are waking up. Be reminded. Very good. Is there anything that you would like to say to her at this time? Or do you think that everything that she requested has been completed today? That's it. That's it. Very good. Five wide away, completely alert, feeling wonderful all over. Whoa. Welcome back. Holy moly. <laughs> How do you feel? I feel good. Yeah. I feel so 
relax. I don't even want to get up. <laughs> wow. I was a bear. Mm hmm. And a star. And a star. Mm hmm. You've been everything. We would have been here for a few years if you would have gone through your history, but wow. all you need to know is you've been everything and everywhere. That is crazy. That's why you have so much knowledge. It makes sense, though. Mm hmm. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? I'm, I'm a little speechless right now, honestly. <laughs> How long do you think this journey was? How did it feel to you? I literally have no sense of time right now. No? Uh, I Quick? Don't know. Maybe like an hour. Yeah, it's about an hour and ten minutes. Huh. You have a good sense of time, though. Yeah, you do. <laughs> yeah, you wow. did great. Wow. I'm like, my hands are buzzing. Yeah? See are that? they warm or are they cold? They're, I'm super hot. <laughs> those, I'm super hot. Those Remember cold, how cold my hands were hands before? Were, were Touch like, them. Look at this. They were, <laughs> they were freezing before. Wow. What a difference, huh? Yeah, I was getting so hot with that light. Yeah. Whew. Now then it's not... I'm even sweating. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you wanted, didn't you? Yeah, I guess. You wanted that heat in you. I guess. Wow. Did it make sense? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to watch it again. Mm -hmm. Is this something you want to share with others? Yeah. I don't think there was anything that no. personal in there. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. And if it can help, I'm always... Mm -hmm. I'm always ready to help. Yeah, that's what you came here to do. Yeah. So, how'd you do? Apparently, very well. <laughs> mm. I feel great. Yeah? You need to do this. You do. So, when you came here, you were very nervous. I was. About I'm... what this was going to be like. And you're so yes. shaky. Yes, I am. <laughs> and now that you've experienced this. Hot. Yeah, you're, you're, you're I'm, hot. I'm burning. I'm literally burning. <laughs> And when she came here, her hands were freezing, and not from the outside. This no. was coming from the inside. Yes. So um, you were nervous about what you thought hypnosis was. Yeah. What did you think it was going to be like? I don't know. I, I just couldn't grasp my mind around it. and I wasn't sure how that was going to work. Uh -huh. Me being awake but not, a, not asleep and still talking and... Remember, uh -huh. I don't know. I just didn't know what was gonna, how it was gonna be like. So now you experienced it. So yeah. what would you like to tell everybody what it felt like? They're not gonna believe you anyway. Yeah, you, you have to. Okay, so here it is. You have to do it to know how it is. Mm -hmm. It's you can't imagine it uh -huh. because it's like a. Hmm. It feels like you're not complete. Okay, so you're there. Awake. Awake. Mm -hmm. And you hear yourself and it's just going. <laughs> it's just going. <laughs> it's just like a flow mm -hmm. of words. Yes. And just trust the ideas or whatever comes to mind and say it. <laughs> it, it there were so many things that didn't make sense to me at the point of the yeah. bear thing. But you felt the emotion, I didn't felt you? the emotion so hard. Yeah. I was so sad. Mm -hmm. They didn't understand. They, he just killed me. Right. Yeah. He just killed me. Mm -hmm. Not knowing Not who knowing, I was or right. what I was. That you really had emotions. Yeah. That you really had feelings. That, that I was so peaceful. Mm -hmm. And he killed me. Right. Yeah. So mm -hmm. just go with it. Yeah. So right now... We are in Berlin. Yes, Germany. In Germany. And uh, <laughs> where are you from? I'm actually uh, from uh, Bavaria, <laughs> near Munich, but I've been living here for almost a year. Yeah. Um, I'm German, half Spanish. Uh, weird mix, I know. Weird mix. This is one of the ones that can, can, can speak German and understand English and Spanish. So yeah. We have trilingual A little here. bit of French, too. <laughs> okay. Throw one more language in there. So uh, you were, we were talking about you didn't think that you would ever get a session. No. It, it was weird because, um, you know, she's from, she lives in America. She's more over there and doesn't come to Europe so often. So I was literally on my bed thinking, God, after watching a, uh, an Alba video, God, I really want to have a session. 
but she's probably not gonna come here anytime soon, especially mm -hmm. Berlin. I saw her in Amsterdam, but not Berlin. Uh, <laughs> and then two days later, I wake up, I look at my phone, and there's this email, right? And I see she's going to Berlin. And I click, click, click. In a matter of two minutes, I have my session. <laughs> it's Amazing, just, isn't it? Synchronous, yeah. So you know that if you're supposed to be here, you you're will be, be here. here. Yes, and that's how it happens. You just happen to look at your phone. It just, it yeah. just, it's, it's not something that you could try to do. It just yeah. happens. Yeah, it right? does. It was crazy. Yeah, it was crazy. So if you want a session with me, you need to sign up for my newsletter. That's the only way you get it. You will get it through an email telling you where I'm going to be, and you're going to click on whatever city is there, and that link will take you to a calendar. Each link is a different calendar, yeah. and it will tell you where I'm going to be available. If there are times and dates there, it's open. If there are no times and dates, it's already been taken, and they go within minutes, okay? So if you catch that email of five, ten minutes later, they're yeah. gone because there are a lot of people trying to get those yeah. sessions. But don't give up hope. If it's meant to be for you, you will get it. Yeah. Okay? So I hope you enjoyed this session. This was a very, very nice session. Very flow beautifully. And I hope you got something out of it. I sure did. I, I hope I get so to see too. you sometime soon. Keep watching. Bye. Bye. Give me that. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm.